Well, making sure trees don't fall on power lines, that is the subject of a public hearing that is going on right now in New Britain. Recent storms have proved the need for trimming, but News 8's Ken Pierce is live in our New Haven newsroom to tell us how the regulations still need to be finalized. Ken. And Keith, it's a tough thing to do here in Connecticut because we like trees here, especially when they're on or in front of our property, and we don't want people coming in and cutting them down. But we also know trees falling onto power lines have cost far too many lives and too much money. All the nasty storms in recent years made it clear. With trees knocking out power to so many for so long, Connecticut had to do something. The power companies pledged to spend hundreds of millions of dollars cutting back trees near power lines. But anything the utilities do, the Public Utilities Regulatory Authority has to regulate. For two years, they've been working on rules for what trees and how far back they should cut, trying to strike that balance that the public, like the Garden Club of New Haven, wants. We would get a good balance of protecting uh, the trees, that are healthy and structurally sound and um, power reliability. So far, the regulations say utilities have to notify homeowners of upcoming tree trimming. And if homeowners don't like the plan, they can complain to their local tree warden. Yes, your town probably has one. It's part of what Pura learned through a series of public hearings like this one. We wanted to make sure that everybody had an opportunity to talk and we didn't have set any time limits. And we heard the people loud and clear that. Now the members of Pura say more often than not, they want any decisions about which tree should be cut down to be made at the very local level with those local tree wardens and the homeowners. They say there's been one mediation like that so far. It happened in Essex, and they say it ended with everybody happy. There is still some work to do, and even before this final public hearing, they were still making changes to the wording. Just one example, trees left standing should be able to withstand extreme weather. What does that mean? It could mean anything from a Category 5 hurricane in which case all bets are off and goodbye to us all. Or it could mean, um, you know, bad storms. And we don't know which we're going to get next. If you remember, the tree trimming started, then stopped as the public outcry grew. They plan to restart it soon. These new regulations should come out in about two weeks. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.